Hey there, read along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Pig the Pug. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But when was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say. But Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both play together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they're mine. Didn't you hear? Only mine. You keep your paws off them. They're mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share. But I'll never do that. I won't, I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a half and a puff. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig, now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoat? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh, dear me. Watch out there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pugs cannot fly. These days, it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend. And they both play together while Pig's on the mend. Hey there, read along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Pig the Winner. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, if he didn't come first, it would ruin his day. Yes, Pig was a winner. He just had to win, and nothing would stop him. Oh, where to begin? Believe it or not, he was quite hard to beat. And the reason was simple. Yes, Pig was a cheat. But if he did lose, he'd throw a pink fit. He'd scream and he'd cry and he just wouldn't quit. He'd sob and he'd sulk with a quivering chin till you gave up and said to him, Okay, you win. But as soon as you said it, he'd clap and he'd stamp and he'd rub it in loudly that he was the champ. Trevor would say to him, let's just have fun. But Pig would reply, it ain't fun till I've won. So one night at supper, Pig shouted with glee, who can eat faster? I bet that it's me. Trevor said shyly, I don't want to race. But Pig had yelled, go, and was stuffing his face. He wolfed down his food. He gobbled his kibble. His face was awash with biscuits and dribble. He chomped up three sausages, all of them whoppers. Then he munched through his doggy treats, gnashing his choppers. He swallowed it all in a minute or less. But something went wrong. Do you know? Can you guess? Because he was busy stuffing his hole, Pig didn't notice he'd swallowed his bowl. Lucky for Pig, Trevor knew what to do. He squeezed out the bowl before Pig could turn blue. But Pig didn't thank him. He just said, I win. 
Then the bull bounced right back and knocked Pig in the bin. These days, it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's not the winner each time that they play. He plays to have fun and his tantrum have seized. Yes, Trevor can win now. Well, sometimes at least. Hey, very long kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Pig the Slob. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say he was shockingly lazy. Such a shameful display. He lived in a flat. Horizontal position, which left him in truly appalling condition. Full of candy and soda and thick mozzarella, Pig was a hardcore full-time sofa dweller. His only exertion was sweeping a screen. Swipe, stare, repeat was his grueling routine. Sure, once in a while he would lift a remote, but it made him quite tired and his ankles would bloat. Flat on his back, he'd relax with a sigh, binging on TV and nuggets and pie. Pig dug in deep. He was part of the couch, an immovable lump in a warm, sticky pouch. Trevor was worried. Pig's health was at risk. We should take a quick jog or a walk nice and brisk. Pig stared from his stupor. His reply was quite tart. He simply said no and then unleashed a fart. We'd have so much fun, though. Try Trevor once more. It was a suggestion Pig chose to ignore. From a bunker of sloth and with no sense of shame, Pig returned to his ice cream and video game. And that's when they heard it. Crrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I thought we were friends. But Pig said, whatever. Then came the day of Pig's sneakiest plan. He said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They keep them up there in the closet up high. But before I can get them, I need a good lie. And with that, he let rip. It was stinky and grim. Then he pointed to Trevor and said, It was him. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance, and he climbed on a chair. Those treats will be mine, and I'll gobble them all. But behind all those treats was an old bowling ball. These days, it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig has stopped lying, hip hip hooray. He may have some bruises and one less front tooth, but he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.